Hey there, Saturday Rivet Crew. Uh, got a 20 minute AMRAP for you today called Lethal Weapon. We did this one back in January of this year sometime. I can't remember the exact date. But if you record this stuff, go back and maybe check your previous time if you did it. I don't know. Can't remember if I did it or not. But I remember programming it. Anyway, um, so we have some of uh, the chief today. The chief, of course, is three power cleans, six push ups, and nine air squats if you've done the chief before. This, has, this workout has the Chief in it, along with some 400 meter stints on the bike. So the way this works, um, you start, so three, two, one, go. You got 20 minutes on the clock, three, two, one, go. We start with one round of the Chief, 400 meter bike. Then we do two rounds of the Chief, 400 meter bike. Then we do three rounds of the Chief, 400 meter bike. You see how this works. Then you do four rounds, five rounds, six rounds. Now at first, the Chief doesn't seem too bad. You might be like, yeah, I'm feeling good. This is gonna be awesome. The first round, the two, the three aren't so bad. I think it's when he gets started getting to like four rounds of the Chief that he starts realizing, okay, this is getting a little bit tougher. So keep that in mind when you're starting the workout today. You know, as usual, 20 minute workout, don't go flying out of the gate all gung ho and burn yourself out too quickly. So think about, you know, how minute 12 or minute 14, 15 is gonna feel and uh, treat those first couple rounds in such a way that is makes it sustainable for the full 20 minutes. The, the overall arching goal of today's workout is to just keep moving. One thing that's nice about the Chief is that you have these movements that do not interfere with each other, right? So we have the power clean, which is a lot of that big explosive hip extension. Then we have some push-ups, which is upper body push, obviously. And then we have the squats. So each kind of body part gets a little bit of a break um, as we cycle through those movements. I'd say I'd love to see people go unbroken, uh, touch and go sets of three every single time on the power cleans because it's going to be faster that time. It's faster, it's more efficient to do uh, sets of three. If you get to the point later on in the workout that those sets of three just aren't working for you, um, you may need to transition to the quick singles, which won't be at the end of the world or anything. It's a little bit slower, but uh, if you have to, you have to. I'd say if anything, it's a good thing to push for unbroken it would be the push-ups. Again, because we don't have any kind of real interference there. We should be able to bust out those six push-ups unbroken every round. And then the air squats, of course, we shouldn't have a problem doing those sets of nine. But I will say, um, rather than just blast them, throw them really quick, and then getting back to the barbell, maybe struggling with the barbell, maybe pace those air squats just a little bit, just an extra couple seconds or something so that you aren't as burnt out, aren't as fatigued. It's almost like a little break station before you get back and trying to do those unbroken sets of three on the power cleans. So maybe a little bit slower on the air squats. Again, the goal is to just be able to keep moving and moving and moving for the full 20 minutes today. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So work out. What do we got? So a couple of movement tips I'll give you today. Um, I'll start with the power cleans. Let's be sure to brush the bar at the pockets on the way up and on the way down. Common, common mistake you see here is the bar is coming up, right? And then we kind of drive it forward, right? And then that bar comes out in front, it throws off our balance, we have to chase the bar a little bit. We don't want the bar to hit that pockets, we want to brush that pockets. It should be kind of just kind of brushed on its way past as it's going vertically. The whole goal here is to keep the bar nice and close to the bottom. So we brush the bar on oh, pockets, we call this position pockets, you know, kind of high up on the thigh right there. We want to brush it on the way up as we clean, and then actually on the way back down, hopefully if you're doing those touch and go sets like I was talking about, we're pulling those elbows back, and again, we're brushing right there on the way back down. So brush on the way up, and then brush on the way down. Little brush right there, pockets area. And then for your two uh, body weight movements, simple cue today, eyes straight ahead. So the air squats, we don't want to look down the floor. I have to see people looking down the floor which kind of makes the chest and everything else kind of cave forward. Let's try to look straight ahead, you know, kind of look at the horizon. This helps kind of keep the chest up and the head in a more neutral position. Um, so eyes forward. And then I'll also say, of course, we want to get well below parallel, you know, clearly below parallel and fully extended the hips and knees and top. So all the way down, full squat, and then full extension of the hips at the top. Common to see where people are not squatting low enough, right? They're kind of going to right there. And or they're not extending the hips at the top. So they're kind of going not low enough and they're not opening their hips. They're kind of seeing it right here. These are all examples of bad reps. So it's only nine at a time. Do it right, all the way down, all the way up at the top. And then uh, push ups, real quick. Same thing with the eyes. We want to keep that head in a neutral position. This helps prevent us from uh, like dropping the hips or arching the back or anything. 
So you should be looking at the floor, straight ahead, head stays neutral as you're doing your push-ups. Remember with these straight arms at the top, chest only to the floor at the bottom. And then if you look at the floor, the head stays nice and neutral. That's all I got for you. Got some cheap, got some bike. Great Saturday workout. Oh, and real quick, the extra credit today, just in case you're not familiar with this, barbell glute bridges and side planks. I know you've done side planks before. You may or may not have done the barbell glute bridges, but this is just a weighted glute bridge in order to build up that backside a little bit. So you can have your barbell. I have 95-65 ZRX weights. Feel free to go heavier or lighter. The barbell is going to rest on front of the hips. We're going to press up and back down. So you can do glute bridges all the time with our warm-ups. But we're just going to hold that barbell right there to crease the hips. And up and down. Right? It'll be 50 and up. I mean, you're here. You may as well do the extra credit, too. All right. Happy Saturday, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Peace out.